Hi there, welcome to week 11 of my training. The aim for this week was to hit a really good speed workout and try and extend the threshold work uh, just that little bit more. All I wanted to do was just get some consistent Ks on the board, reset after a really, really terrible week the previous week and reload ready to go again. I was all keen, let's see how it went. Good morning, Monday morning. And it's the start of another week. Week 11. We're 11 weeks into the year, can you believe that? Anyway, this week, the aim's just to put a solid week of training together. Two workouts, so 12 by 400s on Wednesday, and then on Friday, the threshold workout. Overall, it'll be a little bit harder, but the threshold reps are a bit longer. So it's two by 12 minutes, extending that amount of time that I'm at that threshold effort. Got a bit of soreness hanging around the, the left ankle still. So yeah, trying to, trying to work through that while just putting a good, good week of training on the park. That's the aim. Let's see if we can do it. Good evening, Monday evening and I'm almost home, and my god this wind is blowing. Oh, you probably can't hear anything, but anyway, I'm pushing through. Oh, it's slow going into this wind. Nice easy day today, a lot easier than I expected, considering how tough yesterday was. But good to feel like I've bounced back. Ready to go again tomorrow. See you then. Good morning, Tuesday morning. Oh, I gotta be honest, I'm sick of this monsoon. We've got a monsoon trough sitting over the top of us. So we're getting dumped with rain every day. Then we get these beautiful breaks of sunshine. That just boil the water that's sitting on the ground. So it's very hot, very humid. But running to a front work and it's nice. Nice to be back in routine. Family's starting to function a little bit better after last week. Everything's looking up. All right. Let's finish this run. It's hard work today. Good morning, Wednesday morning, and we're on the way to work again. I um, can't remember if I actually recorded last night on the way home. Anyway, if I didn't, stats are on screen, 5 k's home, nice and easy. Today's a workout day, it's going to be a massive day at work. We've got our national testing starts today, and my job at school to organise all that. So it's going to be a big day. Then into 12 by 400s this afternoon. Just aiming to get a bit of speed into the legs. Probably the last big session like this on the cards. All right, that's my day. So it's over when we're ready for a workout. Bye for now. Good afternoon, Wednesday afternoon, and it's supposed to be workout day. But uh, unfortunately, this doesn't come to fruition. I'm um, jogging home, I got towards the end of the day at work, and just realised there was a bit of hamstring tightness hanging around. I thought this doesn't bode well for a short, sharp speed session. 
So anyway, tried to warm it up. I thought, oh, maybe it'll come good in the warm up, but no matter how much further I run, and no matter what I do, things just keep getting tighter. Not just the hamstring, but the lower back. Feels like it's really locked up. I've just got nothing, no power, no drive. Just, yeah, <sighs> just feeling a bit average. So I'm hoping, hoping, it's just lower back tightness, you know. It's been a big day at work, pretty stressful. But hoping that if I can get in, do some work on my lower back, get it all unlocked, get it all moving again. I should be fit and firing by Friday, because I made the call pretty early. Friday's the work that I really want to do. It's the threshold work. That's the stuff that I need. So hopefully, hopefully, things are feeling better come Friday. Anyway, home now. Time to go inside and have some dinner. I have a rest day tomorrow because uh, coaching in the morning. And then just, yeah, I'll burn it. And I'll see you Friday. Bye. Good morning. Friday morning, running to work. And I'm confused this morning. Went home Wednesday night, I took the rest. I did a whole heap of stuff to loosen up my back. But I've got out this morning and I still feel like I've got nothing in my legs. I'll do some activation work today, this afternoon before I run home. Hopefully that switches things on and fixes things up. But yeah, I'm a bit confused. I'm trying to figure out what's going on, it feels weird. We'll see how I'm feeling this afternoon. Aiming for a threshold workout. Fingers crossed. I got towards the end of the day and realized I hadn't had anything to drink all day. Uh, my access to water had been cut off for the day. And so I just completely forgotten to drink. I was in meetings and stuff all day. So I just hadn't had a chance. And as I was uh, walking back to my office to start thinking about getting changed and winding up for the day, I started to get lightheaded and feel like I was gonna throw up and I do, I do wonder if that was dehydration or if that was something else entirely now. Not wanting to push it and not wanting to do anything stupid, I made the call, got Kate to come and pick me up. I made the call not to do the threshold workout on the way home. Definitely a good call because it wasn't until Sunday morning when I was getting ready for my long run that I went in and had a look at my HRV stat. Thought it'd be interesting to just see where's my body at. And what I noticed was Friday and Saturday, they were two of the lowest values I ever had. Obviously, there was something going on with my body on Friday. Because I got up Saturday and I still felt like absolute garbage. Uh, couldn't bring myself to do a work, to go for a run. Couldn't bring myself to get out of the house. I just felt terrible. So spent time with the family during the day. I did end up doing a strength workout. I could bring myself to do that. I don't know what it was. I think, I think with a strength workout, you know you can just sort of fumble your way through and lift a few heavy things. So I did that on the Saturday and I hoped that it wasn't gonna compromise my uh, run too much on the Sunday. Anyway, here's how the Sunday went. Check this out. So anyway, Sunday was pretty grim in the end. Very wet, very, very miserable. We uh, currently have a drain where I'm filming right now at the back of our house. It is filling up and it is getting very wet out there indeed. We've had a whole lot of rain today and it doesn't appear to be slowing down anytime soon. It was a tough day out there. Uh, what did I end up running? 22 Ks in the end. I had aimed to go out and do maybe a little bit more, make up for a couple of the Ks that I'd missed, but yeah, it was hard work. My quads had nothing left in them after yesterday's strength workout, so they just got sore and sore and less and less responsive throughout the run. It was just a long, slow day just to keep time on my feet and just keep that habit of running long happening. 59 Ks in total for the week. We've got about three weeks now left until the 10K that I'm that I'm training for and that I'm looking forward to, the Cairns 
Cairns 50, 10K. I'm a little bit disappointed by the last two weeks. Uh, I would have liked to get a little bit more confidence over the last two weeks going into the next three because I'm sort of going to start winding things up a little bit. The work is done, essentially. The time to do the big work that was actually going to see me improve. There's now fine-tuning and tweaks. So, for example, next week, my plan will be to do a threshold workout on Wednesday afternoon. That was going to be a 20-minute threshold, but I'll probably do what I'd intended to do last week. I'll do the 2 by 12 or I might do 4 by 6 I'll see. I'll see how I feel. And then on the Saturday, I want to do a bit of a tune-up uh, sort of race, uh, give myself a bit of race prep. So I'll put the race kit on, I'll go down to park run, and I'll smack a park run and just see how quick I can go. The aim is to give me a bit of an indication of how fast I can go out in that 10K because I know if I go out too hard, then I'm going to absolutely blow up. Um, I want to see where my 5K fitness is at to give me a bit of an indication of what I should be doing two weeks later. I'll still go for a long run on Sunday, but I'll obviously need to adjust that based on how I go on Saturday and how I pull up Saturday afternoon and Sunday morning. We've got to make smart decisions. One thing that has really, really, really helped me to get in the right mindset with my running is a Kafuzi quote of run today so that you can run tomorrow. And I have to keep reminding myself of that. If I'm in a run and things aren't working, I remind myself of that quote, run today so you can run tomorrow. And that helps me justify the choices that I'm making. And I think I'm making them for the better. I'm definitely feeling fitter. Definitely feeling like I'm back close to where I was mid last year, fitness wise. So yeah, I think I'm coming back and I think I'm doing okay. That's me done, week 11 done. I'm interested to see how I go in this 5K next week. I reckon it could be good. I'm gonna have a crack. All right, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next week if you wanna see a fast 5K. Bye for now.